Hi there, I'm Deb and I write the blog debmulfer.wordpress.com and I post really simple easy recipes. A lot of them are vegan and vegetarian, some aren't and some can be or not be depending on what ingredients you use. But I was asked to please put a lot more pictures like as each step goes in the video and quite frankly I have no clue how to do that. So I figured why not try to do a video? And you probably won't see me in the first couple of videos because I do not know how to hold my phone, cook, and show myself at the same time. So what I did today is I'm gonna make a soup. So I got out my trusty pot. And this pot is the love of my life. I have another. This one is my favorite, the whole one. So any soup pot will work, any large soup pot. And I went to Trader Joe's. Everyone seems to love Trader Joe's recipes and food and what can I make from Trader Joe's. So I went there today and the best thing about Trader Joe's is they have stuff already made for you and it's affordable. It's not like a regular grocery store where you have to pay four times the amount of an onion just to have it cut up. And sometimes, if you really look, it even has the seasonings in there for you. And these are the things that make me so happy that it's abnormal. It's not normal, the amount of happiness I find in Trader Joe's. But anyway, today I found this multi-grain blend with vegetables. You can see it has rice, peas, corn, carrots, already put together for you. Then they have lentils, steamed, ready to eat, warm or cold. That's important to me because lentils are my nemesis. I struggle getting them cooked all the way through. This and some of these other things I normally keep in my pantry anyway, but just because I was at Trader Joe's, I picked them up for the video. But um, these are already peeled. I mean, why not? Why not get it already done for you? These are just regular bay leaves. You should always keep these in your closet. This is just a regular can of diced tomatoes. I like petite diced tomatoes because I'm a little crazy like that, a little quirky. I like everything cut up small. And this is just a can, a uh, box of stock from Trader Joe's. This is Trader Joe's organic beef broth. You can use any broth. I'm just showing this because I already had it. It was Trader Joe's, that's the theme, so here we go. But I make a lot of, like I said, a lot of vegetarian recipes. Sorry, I'm rambling and my dog was scratching on the door. But, um, so just switch it out with veggie broth. They also make chickenless chicken stock, which would be delicious in this recipe. If you have an onion or something else that you really love, throw it in. That's the greatest thing about these soups. They really, you just dump it in, heat it up, and eat it. And I also bought some bread to dip, because my family loves to dip. And you guys can make this healthful dish for your kids, for your husband, don't listen to them if they say they don't like healthy food because trust me, they will eat it. Rather than go hungry, they will eat. They're very much like pets in that regard. If you do not cook them something else to eat, they will find something to eat and eventually they'll eat your food because you're making it and they're too lazy. Trust me on this one. Okay, so I have opened and cut everything that I need because like I said, I will not be able to hold this camera and do it at the same time. But look at how cute these are. They are already in little packages for like one soup. Aren't they adorable? These little garlics, I'll throw them in the water. I put four cups of water in the pot. You basically want to do half and half, half water, half stock. So um, I'm making this, we'll feed the four of us with some bread to dip and maybe I'll make a salad and it's a meal. But if you're, um, like I said, it makes about four. And um, so I put the water in here already and I put salt and pepper in already, same reason. I don't know how to grind <laughs> salt and pepper and hold the camera at the same time. So now I'll just pour in the stock, just like if I can handle. You just empty the whole box. I believe these boxes are like 32 ounces. Yes, 32 ounces. So four cups of broth, four cups of water, whatever you choose. They'd all be really, really good. Whether it's veggie stock, chicken stock, chicken less chicken stock, beef stock, whatever you have on hand. These are things I always keep in. The garlic, spices, a can of tomatoes, broth, I always have them in. Now I open the can of tomatoes, so I'll just dump that in, liquid and all. I mean, it does not get much easier 
to make healthy, delicious soup. Here's the bay leaf. I'm just putting one in, um, a decent size one you can see, like when I throw it in. And just remember that bay, when it's dry, it's very, very hard. It does not get soft. You need to take it out. Otherwise, you know, you don't really want to scratch your mouth or your esophagus while it's going down. But yeah, so I try to pick a big piece because it's easy to pull out at the end. But it's really good in soups, stews. Um, I use it a lot. Tomato sauce, gravies. I use it a lot. But just one because it's very powerful, okay? And look at these lentils. Now, aren't these the best things probably ever? I don't know. But yeah, it just looks like a brick of lentils right now. But it's already cooked for me, and it's already in a bag that I can just dump, which I love the dump method. And here we go. Here's the multi-grain blend of vegetables. And when I look in, I also see little zucchini cut up, carrots, peas, corn. I see barley, which I love. And um, and some wild rice. So let's just dump it in just one bag at Trader Joe's. Let's see how many ounces this is. One pound. So if you go to your own grocery store and you find a mixed veggies that you like, it could be any, try to find, um, you know, this one has barley, has some other great things for you in it. If not just, you know, your standard peas, carrots, corn, frozen vegetables, I always try to keep that in as well. And guys, you're looking at it. That is how easy this is. Let me just get a spoon to break it up. Now, don't worry about the lentils still being in a brick because once they heat up, they'll melt. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the stove on medium high till it comes to a boil. Then I'll lower it to low and I'll check back in with you. It should take about 10 minutes. So 10 minutes has passed and you can see this is a really rapid boil. It does not need to be boiled as much. But I'm gonna lower it down to about medium, a little bit below medium because the locker say pots um, really hold the temperature well. So if you're, if you're using not a stoneware pot, a regular pot, just put it down to medium. If you are using a stoneware pot, um, high quality pot, maybe a little less than medium is all it needs. Give it a stir. You can see the lentils are still sort of in a block. So I'm gonna mix them up with my slotted spoon or whatever you got, spatula. Mix them up a bit so that they spread out. And you can see it already smells divine in here. The garlic I love. Um, one thing that would also be great, which I don't have, which I usually have actually, is like a can of cannellini beans or any kind of small bean, like white bean, um, would go great in here. And you can dump the whole thing in even with its liquid. And um, that would add even more protein. Where's that other block of lentils somewhere here? And um, so that's what I'm gonna do. And then I'm gonna cover it and probably cook it for maybe 15 minutes more on a medium low. It really, like since everything was cooked already or frozen, it really doesn't need that much time, which is great because you can have it on the table in like 30 minutes total. If there's a flavor you don't like, you can just take it out or try to put something else. If you wanna make it a little spicy, also a little pinch of like cayenne pepper. Hmm, I might do that actually. Um, also, you can cut up an onion or a shallot or something and put it in here too. All right, so now it's back on low. I am going to cover it. Set my timer because I live my timer because I am absent-minded and I forget. I'll put it on for 15 and go back to Jerry Springer. Okay, so 15 minutes passed and it looks just perfect. Um, one thing I did notice, you might have just seen one go by, like my, my garlic cloves are pretty big. Um, I don't mind that. My family doesn't mind that. So if you have someone that doesn't love garlic, maybe, you know, maybe he likes it or just likes the flavor, just cut them up a little smaller if they're big, but not a problem for me. And so this is done. I shut it off and I poured some into my bowl and look at how colorful this looks. It is so helpful with the lentils and the barley and the wild rice and the veggies and um, let's see if I can take a little taste. It's going to be super hot, but mmm, so good, so good. And don't forget, you got to pull a bay leaf out of there. But I can taste the bay. 
I can taste salt and pepper and I always add more salt to my own. Don't tell anybody, but I love salt. I know it's not good for me. So please don't leave me a comment that I shouldn't be adding salt. But I just added to my own. I let my kids and my husband add their own, which generally they do pepper. And so that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave me a comment below if you'd like me to do some of my other recipes on the blog. I'll leave the uh, link to the blog um, in the description somewhere so that you can find it if you're not familiar with my blog. But if there's specific ones from the blog that you want me to try on video, I'll gladly do that and um, or something else. If you have any other ideas or suggestions, I know um, they sell equipment that can help me hold the camera and all that, but I'm not about investing money in this <laughs> at this point. But um, so I hope you enjoy. I hope you try the soup, try to make it and um, enjoy it. And like I said, you can eat really healthy, vegetarian, vegan. This would be if it was, um, you know, meat free stock. Um, and it's so good for you and your family will eat it. If they don't eat it today, they'll eat it next time. Like I said, don't worry. All right. Well, until next time, um, I'll see you soon. Bye.